Hi everybody and welcome back to Health, Fitness and Science. In this video we are going to discuss the anaerobic respiration, lactic acid system, and quarry cycle. Anaerobic respiration includes glycolysis and the lactic acid system. We have discussed in details glycolysis in a previous video, which is available to watch in this channel. The main focus of this video is the lactic acid system and the quarry cycle. As discussed in a previous video, glycolysis is the metabolic pathway in which glucose is broken down into two molecules of pyruvate. Glycolysis takes place in the cytosol of cells, and during this process, two ATP molecules are utilized, and four ATP, two NADH, and two pyruvate molecules are produced. At this point, if sufficient oxygen is available, the pyruvate can subsequently be used in the citric acid cycle, which is part of the aerobic pathways. However, when oxygen is limited or absent, the pyruvate is converted by the action of the enzyme lactate dehydrogenase into lactic acid. This metabolic pathway generates additional ATP, and helps maintain the pyruvate concentration low, allowing glycolysis to continue. Also, it oxidizes NADH into the NAD plus required by glycolysis. During this metabolic reaction, lactic acid replaces oxygen as the final electron acceptor. Anaerobic respiration and lactic acid pathways do not require oxygen, and take place in most cells of the body when the availability of oxygen is limited, such as during high-intensity exercise, or if mitochondria are absent, such as in the red blood cells that lack these cell organelles. In these cases ATP must be produced from anaerobic respiration. The lactic acid produced diffuses into the blood and is carried to the liver, where it is converted back into pyruvate or glucose via the quarry cycle. During high-intensity exercises, the working muscles use ATP faster than oxygen can be delivered to them. Thus, they depend on glycolysis and lactic acid pathway for rapid ATP production because oxygen is not needed during these metabolic pathways. These represent effective pathways for ATP production, but they can sustain high-intensity exercise only for short periods of time, ranging from seconds to a few minutes. This because higher level of lactic acid decreases tissue pH level, and affects the activity of metabolic enzymes, such as phosphofructokinase, reducing the ability to generate energy, leading to fatigue. So let's put everything together, and keep the big picture in mind. Anaerobic respiration and the lactic acid system produce considerable amount of ATP, and oxygen is not needed. The quarry cycle involves the conversion of lactic acid into pyruvate or glucose by the liver. However, these metabolic pathways can sustain high-intensity exercise, only for short periods of time because tissue pH decreases, and the activity of key metabolic enzymes is inhibited, leading to the development of fatigue. Essentially, the anaerobic respiration and the lactic acid system are crucial for producing ATP to sustain high-intensity, short-duration exercise. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.